Peace be to you, dear friends. I am Brother Mario from Philokalia Foundation with the Advent Reflection of 2022, Day 11. Once Gautama the Buddha and his disciple Ananda, they came to India near Gujarat. When they landed in a city, all the rich people of the city decided to welcome him because every rich people says, I need Buddha to stay with me. I need Buddha to stay with me. But Buddha proclaimed there saying that, I must find out the poor house in this city, maximum poor, the poorest of the poor. And I love to stay in their hut, not in the mansions and palace. So one of the poorest person from the city approached Buddha saying that, please come and stay with us. Buddha agreed and the man was so happy, joyful and he informed his wife. And Buddha, Ananda and this gentleman went to that hut. When they reached there, it started heavily raining and it's already dark evening. And there is nothing to cook and feed Gautama Buddha. So this gentleman discussed with his wife and they both went to the forest to find out some vegetables. They went to the field and it was too dark and heavily raining. So they cut some vegetable that came and boiled and served. But when they cut the vegetable at night, they cut some poisonous vegetable also. Ignorantly, they are not aware that there was poisonous leaves in this. Buddha ate the food. Even though he is Buddha, the enlightened one, the body will react if you eat poison. Slowly, his heart beating slowed down and he fainted. Then they understood something is wrong with the food. Ananda, the disciple of Buddha, was about to shout and fire and file a case against that family members. In a drowsy mood, Gautama Buddha heard how the Ananda shouting at the family. Gautama Buddha said, Ananda, never shout at this family. Then Ananda said, see, they are killing you. Their ignorance is destroying your life. You may die enough. We have to do something. Then Buddha said, Ananda, why you are getting angry? Why you are shouting at them? Is it because they loved me? Is it because they served the food? Is it because I ate the food? Is it because I am going to die? Everyone on earth who are born, they must die. Why are you shouting? Ananda said, because they are ignorant, they would have made sure that there is no poison in food, that, this, etc. Again, Gautama Buddha said, Ananda, Buddha can die, but morality should never die. The righteousness should never die. If you scold at them, if you file case against them, they will learn a lesson that never do any good to anyone. Because when you are doing good ignorantly, if anything bad happen, then it is the end of your life. It is better not to do any good. So by shouting at them, by filing case against them, you are teaching them that doing good is bad. So you are destroying morality. Even if Buddha died, the righteousness and morality should not die. Ananda, remember, Love is everything in this universe. If someone serve you with real love, even if it is a poison, drink it because it is the love. So this family ignorantly did it and you don't have any right to scold at them. My brothers and sisters, never scold at the people who does something good to you. Ignorantly, they may do some mistakes. By their words, it can come. By their action, it can come. It may not be purposefully. Ignorantly, it happened. Because of that, you should not keep a distance from your relatives or friends or family members. So in this Advent season, I try to bring harmony relationship to everyone with real love, sharing each other what you have. May Almighty God bless you and peace be with you.